Okay, so this is a, uh, a Plessy PDRM82, uh, the standard uh, Cold War Geiger dose rate meter, uh, as used by the Royal Observer Corps and other civilian defence units in the United Kingdom. Uh, you can tell it's one of those that's in the, uh, the fetching orange colouring, whereas military units were uh, typically had green covers. Uh, this example has been modified, uh, as you can hear it is ticking, not a, a normal feature one of these uh, Geiger counters. And this has a, a simple uh, piezoelectric sound fitted and it's been modified to uh, to use uh, a standard Soviet SBM 20 tube which is uh, fitted here in the case. There's loads of space inside the case. And uh, this is a simple demonstration of this modified counter using a Cornish ore sample here. Just get it out back. This is a piece of pitch blend that you can already hear it here, elevated counts. Uh, it's a quartz matrix and the black stringers running through it are pitch blend material. It's a, a uraninite mineral. Uh, and this comes from the Cornish Real Edwards mine uh, near Batalic on the north coast here in Cornwall, uh, not far from the St. Just mining region. And uh, this piece has been tested under a calibrated dosimeter and uh, has a radiation level of about 9 microsieverts an hour. And uh, You can see the, uh, the increased rate of sensitivity here. Uh, normally these counters are modified. Um, wouldn't be able to detect a piece of ore as I'm holding up to it now. Uh, the stock Geiger Miller tube normally used in the PDRM82 is energy compensated so that it's only uh, sensitive to exceptionally high levels of radiation, such as those found after a nuclear attack. Uh, this was intentional, uh, standard Geiger tubes would have been uh, oversaturated and we give false low readings in the event of a nuclear attack. So here we go, and uh, the reading there, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 microsieverts, or millisieverts even, sorry. Um, so 0 0.1, 10 microsieverts is about equivalent to the other uh, 9 microsieverts I know this sample to actually be. So uh, whilst it's not calibrated, I wouldn't rely on the readings it gives. It's certainly a useful indication. And of course with the, uh, the retrofitted piezoelectric sounder, it allows you to visually identify uh, mineral samples in the field. I use this as a geological instrument uh, and detect samples that are below the uh, sort of 0.1 millisievert threshold of the uh, the indication dial. So there you go, that's uh, a modified PDM82. These are very uh, relatively uh, available, very inexpensive and uh, easily modified. So uh, if you wish to play with one, I can uh, well recommend it. Thank you for watching.